Designers Cafe. We really don't need to see the first floor anymore. So with that hidden, let's go ahead and start creating terrace doorways on our front room of the second floor. Go to the front view. And while holding shift as well, we'll duplicate this over into the X. That looks about good. Okay. We'll just move these out of the way now. Okay. So let's select our new polygons. Um, go into maybe a left view and extrude to the same distance as our door. Um, you also notice if you go under transparent mode. All right. We don't necessarily need a front door on a second level. So let's go ahead and just get rid of this. We'll select the polys first for the seal. We'll just go ahead and move this down. And we will weld. Remove. Okay, maybe we want to add some um, some terraces on the side to the buildings here too. And uh, maybe on each floor we want to have one in the back. So let's go ahead and move our temp doors. Move it down just a little bit. All right, perspective mode. And let's start adding our slices. And while we're at it, we'll just go ahead and start doing the two additional uh, door terraces to the rooms here. Rotate this by 90 degrees. And clone. So we'll move all three of these out of the way. And we will extrude. So now all that's left to do is to duplicate our floor a couple more times. So let's select all the polygons and we will duplicate, clone to element, and we will move it ever so carefully in place. All right, perfect. So let's go ahead and unhide all of our faces now. And you can see that maybe we had room for one more floor, but I think, I think three floors should be fine. Or two stories, if you will. So we'll just go ahead and select the roof terrace vertices as well as the outer wall top vertices. And we're gonna move this down. Go to front view. So 
if we turn vertice mode off and we go and look, we can see we have our last staircase kind of protruding out of the top of the building. And we have two options here. Option one is to just go ahead and at the top floor say, hey, there's no more staircase here, and just kind of block this wall off. Or option two is to turn this into a roof access. And I like that option. So let's go ahead and do that. So with the top roof poly selected, we'll hit extrude. Go to a front view. And we'll just bring it down. Okay. Okay. Go to perspective view. And we're going to select roof edge. Connect. And we'll make one here as well. Connect. And we will simply extrude our new poly. Let's give a little bit of a characteristic. Connecting here. And moving this down maybe like that. Doing an extra extrude, bringing it up. Let's also add a vertice here. We'll connect these two. Now we'll go into a front view and we'll just simply cut out. Now we can come in here and delete this new poly. Um, we may want to move this one in. And weld. Great. Could do a little cleanup possibly here. Okay, now all that's left to do is to cut out the holes for the exterior walls of the building, for the exits of the terraces, and build the actual terraces themselves. And these ones. So now let's go through and just delete these faces. Build the terraces real quick. Go and create a new box. And we'll just bring it up to the build. Like so. Or 
into an edible poly. Move it out. Extrude. Scale. Move. Let's delete this first. Insert a vertex in here. Insert one there. Move and extrude down. To there. Okay. You know, and obviously we can come in here and clean this up the size a little bit, and push this out, and we can make the edges taller because most humans tend not to want to fall over a terrace wall um, then we'll come in here and we'll just delete these back faces and we can weld now okay so there's one. We're just going to go ahead and duplicate this up. And we'll select our main building and just begin attaching the terrace objects. And we don't really need our temporary door scales anymore and that believe it or not is a complete building ladies and gentlemen and with any sort of practice you can begin to take this and make something like this thanks very much